Hey, Shazam15 here. This week's review is Crazy Stupid Love. My apologies for it being late, but I had a bug, which meant I couldn't really talk without hacking up a few days ago, so it's a bit late. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see, what's the film? Well, the film is essentially... It's several stories interwoven, as all good program, all good sh all good films should be. On the one hand, you have the early teenager in love with the babysitter, which is kind of cute. I think we've all been there at some point in our lives, whether a teenager or not. Anyway, um, you've got the husband who has been dumped without any warning you know the I should have seen it coming moment anyway trying to get your life back together after that you've got the young girl who's settling in life where she should be trying to shine and you've got the Lothario who helps the dad get back on his feet. You've also got the wife who's basically unhappy in her marriage and ditches her husband only to discover that she really loves him. Anyway, I have to ask this little, little question. Is there anyone on this earth who finds Kevin Bacon actually attractive? I don't get it. I mean, Tom Selleck, I have trouble seeing, but at least he's got a mustache. He's not that bad looking. Just don't see why anyone younger would be attracted to him. Anyway, Kevin Bacon, I can't see how anyone on earth could be attracted to him. There must be someone out there who can explain it. Anyway, um, what's the basic? The storyline's a bit generic. Dialogue's a little derogatory, but... The actual story structuring is quite brilliant, it's beautiful. The way the storylines collide is fantastic. But all in all it makes for an average viewing with some nice innovative ideas that could be built upon in the future to make something better. Anyway, that's about it really, I mean, that's pretty much how it goes. Steve Carell's playing his character that he plays in a lot of films. It's very much in the same style. This new character is very much in the same style as the 40 year old virgin. <sighs> Amy Adams is. Not Amy Adams. Uh, Amy. Emma Stone is on top form. But then again, she's an up and comer. She's doing quite well. And that's about it for the people who I can actually name specifically. Basically, it's quite interesting. So, uh, this weird twisted love triangle, so that's always fun. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, and not revealing it, but a little question for if you actually do watch it. Don't you wish you had a babysitter like that? Anyway, TTFN.